When scientists studied the Brazil nut, the question was clear and relatively simple. Can selective timber harvesting affect the production of the precious nuts? Across Peru, Brazil and Bolivia, where Brazil nut trees are a protected species, thousands of smallholders depend on the annual harvest to support their families. También he educado con mis hijos con este centro de trabajo de la castaña y siempre cuidando porque es un producto muy bueno que cada año nos da. The nut is one of the most economically valuable crops from the Amazon forest, contributing substantially to the annual gross domestic product in all three countries. Peru makes millions of dollars just by exporting this nut that grows in the wild it's not cultivated, and it occupies millions and millions of hectares of Amazonian forest. Timber is also a major source of income in the region. There are legal ways to log, although illegal harvesting remains a problem. And in Peru, where the study was carried out, the demand for timber is increasing in forests where the nut is harvested. The research, carried out by C4 during the harvest seasons of 2012 and 2013, provides important initial scientific evidence in understanding the compatibility of timber harvesting with Brazil nuts. And it potentially leads the way for both diversification of forest use and policy change in Amazonian Peru. The study found that selective logging of about one or two trees per hectare does not affect the production of Brazil nuts. Under low logging intensities, that is one, not more than two trees per hectare, not more than two trees per unit area, you could harvest the timber and the nearest Brazil nut tree will keep producing the same amount regardless of a logging gap being close or away. The C4 researchers believe that harvesting timber and Brazil nuts can coexist with the correct application of best logging practices, while low logging intensities are also respected. <laughs>